in this video we'll see about the concept of fire and flame till now most of us think that fire and flame are same but these are not fire and flame are two different things but they are interrelated with them very closely with this in mind will be able to correlate them with shipboat firefighting techniques and understand them better so what is fire fire in simple terms is an oxidation process during combustion let's say a piece of wood when ignited with the presence of oxygen oxidizes due to combustion assuming all these are in right proportion so that's fire then one must be wondering what is a flame flames are hot glowing gases that is there must be always a fire for a flame to occur and the color of the flame depends upon the material which is burning and the temperature of the fire Let's imagine a cigarette butt now. To light up a cigarette butt, you require a flame. However, after lighting it, we just have a fire at the tip of the cigarette butt. There is no visible flame at the tip. And it is said that the temperature at the tip of the cigarette butt may be of the order of some 500 or 600 degrees celsius so there is a fire in it but not a flame however with this in mind we should conclude that there cannot be a flame without fire but there can be a fire without flame let's now watch a video to understand and prove that there can be a fire without flame. Well, here is a matchstick which I have lighted it up and what you see is a flame here. I blow off the flame and now I just break the matchstick tip and here what you see is a fire and thus when there is a fire there need not be a flame and here I'm just lighting it and what you see is a fire again it's not a flame it doesn't have a flame it's just fire and here is a flame so you can see the vapor burning from the matchstick and wow this is a clear picture of a fire where you cannot see a flame let's say you have extinguished the fire inside the engine room compartment with CO2 and there need not be a flame visible flame but however all the burnt steel pipes or metal or any other substances inside the engine room might have a fire in it so when there is a fuel in fire and there is no oxygen there is no possibility of reignition and thus when you open it open the engine room doors and let fresh air in there is a possibility of reignition Thus, one has to understand the difference between flame and fire so that you can easily decide and conclude the waiting time before opening the engine room doors and letting fresh air in.